Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to fine tune one of the deep six model. Okay, so if you don't know what deep six is, it has basically created you know havoc on the internet. Wherever you know you go in the AI community, the ecosystem, people are talking about deep six. It's a Chinese startup. You know, it's a Chinese AI first company where they create AI models, you know, and different AI tools. So basically they, they do, you know, innovation where they create frugal, you know, or low, low cost, you know, distilled model or low cost model. And that's what we're going to, you know, see in this video that how we can take one of the deep six model and we can fine tune it. Right. So deep seek has, uh, you know, numerous model models available on the, their hugging face page. We're going to take one of the model and, uh, we're going to fine tune that model on custom data sets, data set, which is not on even on hugging face, like we're going to create our J data set dot JSON L and we're going to fine tune that. So if you look at here on my screen, you know, I'm already on Google Colab and I'm using L4 GPU. That's the minimum GPU requirement for this video. You know, you can also work with A10, A100, V, V100, whatever, you know, whatever is available. So the first thing. This is the model that we're going to use called DeepSeek R1 Distilled QN 1.5B. Now, this model is a distilled model. So, DeepSeek, the team at DeepSeek has performed knowledge distillations or, you know, AI distillations technique or distillation technique in general to basically distill, you know, a smaller model from a parent uh, or basically it's called a teacher model so that's what they have done you know learning from those big models and creating a distilled model out of it so for example if you look at here it's a 1.5 billion parameter model but if you look at the deep seek model they are around 600 parameters and whatnot right if you look at the biggest model that deep seek has now this is a distilled model has around 1.78 billion params right and that's what we're going to use to fine tune you know in this video now to fine tune you need a couple of things. You need a GPU. So I'm already on the GPU and you need uh, some some libraries to install. So this is these are the things that I have installed called data sets because we probably can also push the data set on hugging face or we can also lo uh, load it locally using load data sets module. We have vend B weights and biases just to make sure that we are looking at the observability of the fine tuning to keep all the logs and matrices. We have bits and bytes B and B that basically helps you with, you know, uh, it basically helps you with decoding techniques when it comes to compressing model weights and loading the models that can run on compute limited devices. That's why we are using bits and bytes and I already have installed it. Now I'm going to run this because this, wanna, this is going to take a bit of time. So if you look at here, what we are doing, we are defining the model name, which is DeepSeek AI, DeepSeek R1 Distilled QN 1.5B using the same tokenizer, you know, from the model. And then we have the model we are using auto model for causal LM. There are two different ways you can use probably language models. You know, you can do MLM mask language modeling, or you can do next token generation because mask language modeling where you fill some tokens and uh, next token generation uh, in the sequence. That's where you do, uh, you know, text generation. That's basically causal LM right now. That's why we're using auto model for causal LM here and we are binding all the Basically, you're using CUDA to, you know, utilize all the kernels that are available and we transfer all the weights to the CUDA kernel. So basically, it's uh, it's a bit faster and can do a lot of a lot of things right uh, in the in the in this GPU. Now, it's going to take a bit of time. So what I'm going to show you, I have created a JSON. Uh, this is using chat GPT. I'm going to show you. Right. You can also create. <laughs> excuse me, or you can bring your own data set if you want. Now here, if you see what I'm doing, a lot of people ask this question that how can I, you know, use my own data or how can I create my own data, right? I don't want to like use any data which is available on hugging face uh, or, you know, if I have data locally, how can I use it? So that's the agenda, right? That if you have data locally, you know, you can bring all this data and use a deep seek model or any other model. I'll be very honest. The reason I'm creating this video because people are hyping deep seek. And for all the right region, obvious region that people are hyping it. And that's why, you know, I also want to ride the bandwagon, you know, of deep six ecosystem, whatever, right? So that's that's the agenda. Now, if you look at here, uh, it has 50 samples. Uh, no, I just went to chat GPT and said, give me a JSON L, which is nothing but JSON L, the JavaScript object rotation line. So basically it creates the in a line separate set. Now I have a prompt and a completion. I have a question. Probably you can also get rid of this question. 
you know so this is not a very good data just to show you a demo that how how it will work and if i just run this so it will write the file so let me just expand this file view a preview you can see now i have a data set here now just to go a bit up here let's print the model and see a few things here the, the pipeline behind the model all the layers and so on and so forth you can look at the self attention layers over here the uh, perceptrons here and whatnot right so uh, let's come down you know down 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 and this is the data set that we have written right uh, it's called niche underscore data set or JSONL. I created something related to video camera, you know, but you can do, you know, whatever else you want to do it, right? Uh, that, that's fine. Now, once you have the data set, right, what we have to do, we have to basically tokenize that, right? So let's use the tokenizer to tokenize it. But before that, I want to, you know, log in into uh, weights and biases. So for that, you're going to do vend b login. And I need an API key, so I'll just copy it from the VendB dashboard. And when you do VendB login, it will ask you to enter that API key over here. So I'm just going to enter it here and then just paste, just enter. So we paste and enter. So you just say, okay, currently logged in as AI anytime. And you can have a look at here. There are different ways you can initialize the project, you know, at weights and biases, VendB. So you can also do it from here. So you can do import VendB. And then you can say when the b dot in it i hope yeah it's it's in it and then in this in it you can define your project name so I, i'm gonna just give it a project name i'm gonna say uh yt demo bid or whatever you call it and you can then define a config now config is nothing but a dictionary so in the config i'm gonna have key values pair the so first is you can have a learning rate this is your first thing that you can you can give now the learning rate I can keep it anything I want, like 5 e minus 5, you know, and these are all based on your trial and error experimentation. You can define an architecture, and this architecture, as we know, it's a deep seek. Let me just copy it from here, by the way. Okay, I'm just going to copy this thingy. So come here and paste uh, deep seek. Now, once you have defined the architecture, you can also define the data set. So it becomes easier for us, right, guys, to, or I can just call it to epox. Let's see. You can also ch always change this. Like, that's fine. Now, when this is done, it, it's going to show you, right? Now, I can also mount this. So, for example, if you want to mount, because I want to save the uh, trained model, and I can, like, you know, uh, push it on hugging face later, I can keep it first on my you know my drive because i'm using collab so it's already you can mount with google drive and you can use it so that's what i'm doing so let me just come here and continue yes now you can see i've just come here and continue i'll just add a few more cells now once that is done we're going to use the load data set module load the data set locally and then tokenize it so i'm going to do it from uh data sets import load data sets you can see i'm passing json which is right and the data file is nothing but the niche data set and you can also do a split so i have 50 samples and of course i need a split i want to split that so that data set and then i'm going to print the length of the data set so let's print the length of the data set here uh this is so slow guys right now print length of the data set now here i'm going to create a trend test split very simple if you have uh you know if you have worked with machine learning earlier at least you are familiar with this terminology is called trend test split and i'm gonna give it a size of that's that's fine trend test split and then trend data sets and test data set and then just run it so if you run this it should show you generating trend split you can see it has so has so new generating trend split 50 out of zero and 50 samples now i'm gonna use tokenize i'm gonna write a tokenize function this should show me define tokenize function and in this function i'm going to give examples and basically you're going to use this function to tokenize combined text i do have uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to save some time so i do have a repository so let me just copy paste a few things so it will be faster uh, so i'm going to go fine tune deep seek right come here digital model ft and then I can also write like meanwhile we can write combined text and once you do that 
it's a list by the way combined text file and then we're going to write prompt let's see if i can get it from here very fast we can get this thing tokenize functions yeah this is from here let's get this from here rather than writing tokenize function and i'll just go a bit up and run this now once i run it it says name eval data set oh that's very surprising where did i get the eval ah oh, okay basically that's called eval so we can just uh, we can just change this to test data set my bad okay now if we run this this should work yeah you can see it's mapped successfully because we have 0 0.1 and now i'm going to use bits and by uh, bits and bytes config so from transformers import bits and bytes config and i'm going to use create a quantization config i have captured these guys in my previous videos a lot you know where i have uh, explained these things uh, that what what are these things mean in very detail i have a crash course i will recommend you that you go and watch that okay that will be very helpful for you uh you know i have uh, let's see what happens so bits and bytes config load load in 8 bit true and then i'm gonna just use this quantization config as a config you can see why did this okay that's fine and device map auto and i think that's what it is and this would be fine enough for us to run it all right so when you run this after that we're going to define a loda config so if you are a beginner this video is not for you by the way guys but i assume that you have a bit of knowledge if, if you don't know anything i'll give you the uh, link in description so you can go and watch my previous videos where i have you know explained what does these things mean uh loda config i, I have a bit uh running nose so you might get some uh you know disturbance but i hope you adjust with that i'm gonna have loda alpha blah 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 okay and I i'm just gonna get rid of all of this was so not required loda alpha which is let's keep it lower so we'll be a bit fast task type is fine we have causal lm and then i'm gonna have model equals uh model equals get pipped model and then just pass the model and loda config so lora underscore config the model is done and then model dot print trainable parameters which is strange trainable parameters parameters and what we are doing here we are first you know defining a lora config and then you know using git pif model so we are using pif to uh now load the model so we can fine tune with low rank adaptations technique now this is done and we're going to define a trainer class now so first we have to define a training argument so from transformer import training arguments and trainer and this is i'm just going to copy the training arcs as well because it doesn't make sense to write a lot of things so here so let's just copy this come here paste uh let's see if everything looks good uh self stay this is fine per device blah, blah 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 okay this looks good if you get any error we'll see it i'm also going to copy this trainer class uh this is fine we are using trainer class trainer module you know to use uh it will not be eval or is it eval i think it's we call it tokenized eval that is fine okay let's just run this now trainer is done so you can, what we're going to just do is trainer.train and when you just do trainer.train you can see it started training for 50 epochs very less by the way this is not at all a very big data so you can you have to increase that now the next thing is probably you know i'm going to copy a bunch of code and explain that like where i writing a lot of things here uh, I'm going to save that on drive, so that is fine. And then I'm going to merge the LoRa adapters, you know, with the base model and also save that as a final model. Load it and I'll just copy paste here. And probably I should have just run that, but anyway, that's fine. Uh, from transformer, import pipelines. So we're going to use pipelines. We're going to create a pipe 
a text generation pipeline to get some output but you can again use causal lm to do that so i'm just coming here and take this question probably you know let's see and the last one which is this and then just generated text generated text and generated text and let's just do that here we go okay now you can see it's taking a bit of time that's fine but what i'll just explain the code so what we are doing here we are saving the file on a folder called deep seek fine tuned uh, on our drive and after that we are uh, merging the lora adapters with the base models you can see here the models that we are using this is the model base model and this is the model uh, which is coming from the safe path which saved on the drive and then we have a final save path where we save the final models checkpoints and then we load those two models in the same tokenizer and then we use that to inference on a question that we want to inference and then get the output over here max length 300 blah 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 this is what we are doing so let's probably you know let's wait for it so what i'm going to do i'm going to pause the video and come back when this is done as you can see the training has been completed and the loss has been drastically you know like reduced here you know it has really gone down and it's not like uh, looks like a good curve if you look at on the vendor b we can go and have a look you know we can find it out if you come here you know uh, if you go to where here yt demo video and you can find out all your logs over here you know on weights and biases all the runs you can see the eval step per second blah 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 uh, looks looks really generalized you know on the desert and let's first run this but this might be a hoax because we have very less samples and less epochs and whatnot doesn't make a lot of sense now i'm just running this uh you know, this model merge and download make sure you have this line of code very very important you know to use this line of code and sometimes you also have to clear the cuda cache just to make sure that if your model is really big you cannot fit everything uh at the same device you know, so you have to first uh unload a few things and then run it but I have that in my previous notebooks. You can go on my GitHub repositories, look at the notebooks, and you can take the codes from there. And that is readily available on internet, or even Chat GPT can help, or DeepSeek can help. That's what people are saying. DeepSeek is good at coding, so you can use that. Okay. Uh, here I'm just going to write pipe uh, prompt device set to use CUDA, blah, blah, blah. And let's just run this. Don't expect a very good. You know answers here because this we ran it like for few minutes and like 50 samples this will probably not be the this is not the of course not the not even a very good model i'll say like you can see here right? it says uh types of camera blah 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 let's just let's just copy this here So the, the token has to be max token, but you can look at here, right? It says mechanical mechanisms are common in cameras like flash unit, blah, blah, blah. So look into the types of cameras and whatever questions you have asked. So it has given standard lubricant and camera. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, so it, it gives you something which is in, which has seen in the training data sets. And you can probably, of course you have to improve this. As I said, this is not the best data and not the best uh hyper parameters to use and train a uh, fine tune the model but yeah it's a really good starting point you can use the code to improve it further and fine tune it even further right so this is what i wanted to cover you know in this video is to show you how you can fine tune a deep seek model so if you have any question thoughts or feedbacks let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels find those information on channel banner and channel about us in the settings or wherever you know on youtube so if you like this content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in near future. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.